it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm about to put on my makeup. So I thought I would turn on my camera and do it with you all. So, yeah, bar face. I just did get my hair done. I um, got the red touched up. It's kind of like a red auburn color. I don't know. I went to a new girl, and I really like what she did. And it is like a asymmetrical. Like, it's a little short on this side than this side. I really like it. So, anyways, I'm just going to put on the traditional cat ears. These are from Claire's in the mall, um, just to put my hair back. And this is going to be a talk through, but I'll probably edit out some things so that it's not we're not here for 40 minutes. But the first thing I want to do is take my moisturizer, which is the Trader Joe's Enrich, and I'm going to mix it with the Becca Skim... I always say skimmering, because shimmering and skin perfection. <laughs> And opal. So what I do is I just put a little bit of the lotion in my hands and I do have like super dry skin so um, This works quite nicely for me. Some days I don't wear um, makeup. I'll still go ahead and put on this mixture and so There it is and then I just mix it all together And then I apply it all over my face and it gives just like this really nice subtle glow um, like I said, since I have dry skin, um, I can really layer on anything that says luminous, and it's not a problem at all. So, yeah, that's the first thing. Then, lately, it's worked well for me to just go in with foundation and do my face first, and then do my eyes last. What I find is I do less on my eyes after I see my face. So I'm going to do the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I just picked this up in my winter shade, which is N12 Neutral Soft Ivory slash Classic Ivory. And I have the Nude Beauty Blender, which I just cleaned, so it looks really pretty. Um, just did about four little pumps, and then what I do is just dot it all over my face and spread it out. And then I go in and actually um, mix it, or I'm sorry, press it into my skin. Making sure I get it in on the center of the face, the outside of the face, and then I'll take it around the hairline as well. I'm about to go to the movies. It's a Saturday afternoon. Who knows what day this is going up. I have a lot of videos lined up. So I might just kind of mix it in so you can see the new hair and kind of get caught up together. Um, but I'm going to the movies to see live, or life, life, and it's about space. <laughs> um, I did see Beauty and the Beast. I thought it was really, really good, but, um, since this is a very natural day, just run into the movies, probably won't do too much more other than that. Um, I'm not going to do concealer, so I'm just going to go in and set it, and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth, it's not the matte one, but um, 125 Nude Beige, so I'm going to take this powder with what brush? I've really been enjoying the um, buffing brush from Real Techniques. This is the limited edition packaging, but they have, you know, just the normal one. You have to buy it in a set, though. So I'm just going to press it in, and my mirror is down below. So if you see me looking down, or I should say when you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I'm just going to press this all over the skin. I find that um, the luminosity of my what I mixed with my moisturizer and then the foundation it still shines through even with the powder. The powder just helps um, so that the other products set nicely on it, like the blush and bronzer, that kind of thing. I will link down below the makeup basket that these products are from so you can kind of see more <laughs> of the products. Um, it's a little tacky on the side still. I'm going to press that in. Have you guys been to the movies lately? What are you watching? Um... The guy I'm with right currently, <laughs> see what I've been talking about for a couple months, um, he loves movies. I'm not really into them. I get bored. But something about the movie theater makes it, it engages me more. And plus, I love the popcorn and Dr. Pepper. Like, I am a health person. Like, you guys, I don't really talk about that a lot on my Instagram or my YouTube. But a lot of you guys know that about me. And so, but I'm like real life health. Like, we're going to eat that popcorn. We're going to drink that Dr. Pepper. But we're also going to be in the gym four days next week. And we're going to um, 
meal prep our lunches. Like, I'm kind of like that balance of all of it. Uh, I mean, it's life. You can't, like, completely cut things out of your life. Um, here is the e.l.f. contour palette. Um, mine has a blush from the blush palette, but the rest is original. I'm going to take this and set it under my eyes a little bit more. I don't think that I fully got them set in the way that I want. And I'm also going to take it on my eyes. Uh, I'm not really going to prime those because this makeup's only going to be on my face for a few hours. So I'm not going to get too crazy here, but I want some life back in my face. All right, and then I'm going to, I'm not going to contour, but I'm going to take the bronzer right here, and I'm just going to um, bronze up my face. Ah, crazy, right? Bronzing my face with a bronzer. I have been loving the multitask brush um, from Real Techniques to bronze my face, so I'm just going to dip it in, and then, whoo, oh my God, look at that powder. <laughs> I'm going to tap it off. Wow, that was a tragic mistake <laughs> and we're gonna just put it I've been like lately instead of like rubbing it in like tapping it and then rubbing it in and then up here I just go ahead and rub it no need to tap Woo! hello fallout this is crazy anyways obviously because that's what most people hype but something about finding an affordable option at the drugstore that you can just walk out and buy totally totally gets my attention I'm gonna take this whoo, along my jawline hello we are bronzed we are bronzed hello bronzer how are you whoo, whoo. okay I think that's good I think that's good we, we, we went to new levels on that. Okay. Okay. This is the Tarte Wild something or other magnetic palette. And I just have kind of like a mixture of products in here. And the one that I want to take right here is a blush from Mary Kay called Shy. I have never used it, but today is the day. Let's put this down. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just going to tap it on. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. Going to and just brush it on. It's like a nice little glow. It's very subtle. I don't know if you can see it here versus it not on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we do the other side. I was looking at photos on my computer that are like, go all the way back to like a few years ago and I was looking at my makeup I've been watching YouTube in for about four years making YouTube videos for a little over two years and the difference in my makeup application I can it's like huge and um but I kind of noticed it in my technique because there's products that I used to hate and now I like and I've kind of really gotten into the flow of doing my makeup not to say I am a professional by any means <laughs> No, but I feel like I'm falling into a groove where things are setting the way they're supposed to set. I used to really struggle with um, like blush placement and contour placement and that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to go and highlight. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone. This is just a little sample size. I really, really like this one. You can make it extreme or not. Um, this is the Real Technique setting brush. It's my favorite to do highlighter. So I just go ahead and tap it on, or put my brush in, tap it off. And then I really stick to just this high point right here. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And I'm like, my brush is barely touching my skin. And I'm just swiping it back and forth. And you can get that. Mm -hmm. The one thing I've noticed about highlighters in YouTube is a lot of the girls who have them have on, have extreme lights on where they film, and that's why you get like these crazy highlights. And then you go buy what they have, and you're like, "Mine's not doing that." But a lot of it is the lighting, so just keep that in mind. 
you can go turn your flash on and get the same thing. And then I like to take it up kind of like into the eye and then above the eye and then just a little bit above the eyebrow. Um, I didn't do that on the other side. And like I said, my brush is barely, barely, barely touching my skin. Then I take it down the bridge of my nose. And then, uh -huh, cute this one. Okay, uh-huh. And that is my face makeup. That was pretty simple, right? <laughs> right? I'm really hyper. I've been alone for too many hours. Okay, so for eyes, we're just going to keep this really simple. Um, What do I want to do? I have this one from Mary Kay that is in Chocolate Kiss. And it's like this really pretty shimmery brown color. Um, I think I definitely want to do that. And then I have this um, CoverGirl color. It's from one of their like brighter for palettes. I think I'm going to take that in the crease and I will zoom you guys in. Uh, come on in. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to take my uh, It by Ulta, It Cosmetics by Ulta crease brush. And I'm going to tap it into, this is like a, um, kind of a peach color. So if you have anything peach, you're going to get the same look. And then I'm going to take it right here in the crease. And I like to look down and really like carve out that area. And again, my brush is barely touching my skin. Do the same thing on the other side. These blush, or these eye colors are not very pigmented, so I just like to do light layers a couple times instead of packing it all on at once. Um, it kind of gives it a better gradient or color payoff. I don't know. I'm not professional, like I said, but these are the things I've learned from watching YouTube and then practicing. <laughs> so here, doing it on the other side. And I think, honestly, that is good and so then I'm just gonna take that chocolate kiss color and I'm gonna use my finger and this is what it looks like and I'm just going to oh my gosh that that's really pigmented it packed on super easy Ooh, do the same thing on the other side Ooh, I like what's happening here. All right, and then I'm gonna go back with that brush, the crease brush without any additional product, and just blend it in. And then I'm gonna take a clean brush. I have, um, here it is. This is one of my Sonia Keshek numbers 116. It's just like another crease brush or blending brush, and I'm just gonna take it around the edges without any product, and this is going to, um, cancel out any lines just so it looks natural <laughs> all right so obviously that's all we're going to do for the eyes and then I'm going to go in with okay we have a disaster over here getting it together all right so here is the Benefit Give Me Brow number one. What I like to do is run this through my brows, obviously, and I kind of shape how I want them. This is the only brow gel with fibers that I've tried that really fills in the sparse areas in my brow. Um, the other ones I've tried, which have been all drugstore, they don't fill it in. Like They're more so like a setting gel, which is fine, but it just doesn't serve the purpose I need. Gonna go in again, get that edge. And then what I've been doing is taking the L'Oreal Brow Stylist, and mine is in Burnett, and I just kind of fill in some areas right there. Sorry, I always look at the viewfinder to see if I'm still filming and, and focus and all that, but just lightly filling it in, and then I be, I'm very careful around the edge and then just fill it in at the top a little bit. Same on the other side again, just filling in the sparse areas. Taking a little bit at the end. I'm not at this point in my brow game um, very big at carving them out. Not to say I won't get there one day, but we ain't there yet. 
Alright, and then I take the spoolie on the other side and I just um, whew, comb it out. Alright, and I got a new, uh, oh man, I forgot I had, I just picked up the Satin Touch by Essence. Oh well, let me zoom out. Okay, I picked up uh, another NYX Butter Gloss. These are one of my favorites. This one is in Fortune Cookie. I have been really into nude lip colors lately, and this is like my favorite formula uh, for lips in general, just because it's every day, it wears off well, and it's just easy to wear. So, uh, ooh, hello nude. I haven't tried it yet. Here we go. Mmm. This is pretty. What do you guys think? Again, this is fortune cooking. I really like that. Alright, I know I haven't done mascara. I'm going to do that off camera, but it's Essence Lash Princess with like this green teal whatever color cap but before we do that together we will do smashbox primer water to set the face and i do bathe myself Whew. all right i'm gonna let that set and put my mascara on and i will be right back okay the mascara is on i want to go back with my highlight and be real extra take that setting brush again Tap in, tap off, and hit it again. Oh, oh, she Oh, mm. So my, the primer spray is still on my face a little bit, so it's helping this pop a little more. Pop it, pop it, take it up top just slightly. Uh, get it, get it. Oh, 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 oh. sharing my crazy with you for the day so here is the final look it is very natural and <laughs> um, mostly drugstore right that's pretty cool did not plan it but it's nice when that works out but most of my collection is drugstore so you know you know how it goes all right so I turned the light down just a little bit so you can see it more natural moonstone still popping through not as bright as it is when the lights up but uh, let me zoom you in um, eyes super natural, very easy to do. This lip color is giving me all the life. Oh, look at my little junk right there. Sorry. Anyways, ah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Thank you all for getting ready with me. Let me know what you think about the style of video. Video. Yeah, I think that's all I really have for you today. <laughs> but I really loved it. Let me know if you want more of these, and I will sprinkle them in a little more often. But I think that's it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.